Hey, I'm Justin, welcome to Diabet Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to get a live feed of your glucose levels in your car, whether it's your Dexcom CGM or CGMs connected through Night Scout, I will show you how to get it on the car dashboard and even be able to use Siri to get your Dexcom levels just by using your voice. Hey Siri, what is my blood sugar level? You're 158 and steady. Today's tutorial will let you see glucose readings on Apple Calendar widgets for iPhone and your Mac, an Apple Watch watch face, or an iPhone lock screen. If you follow someone's Dexcom readings, this works for you too. On this channel, I talk all things diabetes tech news and management, whether it's through my podcast on Mondays or through YouTube videos that come out on Fridays. If you wanna learn more about Dexcom, I've got a bunch of videos, whether it's applying them, how to use clarity to learn about your trends over time, or how to overlap sensors. Let's hop in. What we're gonna be taking advantage of is Apple CarPlay in the car and then Apple Calendar, Apple iCal, in order to bring your glucose readings into the car. So sorry, Android fans or users, this is an Apple exclusive hack and I don't have a way yet for Android users to get their glucose readings in the car. The first thing you're gonna to need to do before you do any of this is download an app on your phone called SugarMate. This is found in the App Store on the iPhone. I have a video on Instagram and TikTok showing off how you can use SugarMate as a dashboard and you can check that out with the link in the description. Once you have SugarMate downloaded, create an account. Then you're ready to connect CGM readings. So what you'll wanna do is go to the hamburger menu in the top left, tap that, and go to settings. Here you'll wanna tap on data source and then add data source. So the first thing you'll see is connect your Dexcom account, which we're gonna do, but if you click other options, it says connect your Night Scout account. This is in case you wanna connect any other CGMs and it's a great option if you're not using Dexcom. So let's connect Dexcom, tap there, okay. Also, if you're using Night Scout, I have a whole way to get the Night Scout token that they ask for in the app uh, using Gluru and you can watch that in another video that I'll put in the description. Now, logging in with my Dexcom account, there we go, log in. Source is added. Now my Dexcom readings are officially in my SugarMate app. It says I'm 206 and steady, is that correct? Yep, I'm 206 and steady, perfect. By the way, I used a Night Scout link to get my glucose readings down on the bottom screen, which is called Tidbit. Now that we have live Dexcom readings on the SugarMate app, it is time to add our Apple Calendar to SugarMate so we can do everything else. On SugarMate, tap that hamburger menu in the top left and tap Apple Watch. Don't worry, you don't need an Apple Watch to do this. It was just originally created to show readings on an Apple Watch, which has kind of led to the ability to show our glucose readings in the car. Next, click Setup and then Set Up a Calendar. It gets a little tricky from here, so bear with me. Before we can fill out the next step, we need to get an app-specific password using your Apple ID. Open up a browser on your phone or computer and go to appleid.apple.com and then sign into your Apple account using your Apple iCloud username and password. It will most likely have you plug in a two-factor authentication code. This code will be sent to all your Apple devices. Once you're logged in, scroll all the way down to app-specific passwords and tap in there. Now generate a password. You just have to give it a name. I called mine SugarMate. Now copy the password it created and open SugarMate. Fill in your Apple ID email and then paste that app specific password that you copied below. Now SugarMate should be connected to your iCalendar and will send events with glucose readings. Oh, and be sure that the SugarMate calendar is checked on on your devices. Now that that's all set up, you will have events sent to your Apple Calendar from SugarMate every five minutes with a new reading. These readings will have a number, an arrow showing you what direction the glucose reading is, and the delta, the change in glucose reading from the last one you got five minutes ago. You're gonna get an event every five minutes. It will even have the time period that that, that that sugar reading came from. These calendar events can now be viewed on calendar widgets on iPhone, the Mac desktop, and Apple Watch watch faces, as well as the lock screen on an iPhone using the iCal widget. Oh, and any car with Apple CarPlay. Let's hop in the car to see what it looks like. Now that you've got that all set up, you have access to your glucose readings on iCal 
on your dashboard. There are a couple ways you can access it. As you can see, I have a bunch of apps on the screen. One of those apps is iCal. Now you'll wanna make sure that iCal is set up as an app on your CarPlay through settings on your iPhone. Once that is, you'll have that iCal icon in your apps. So I can tap on that and now you can see that my glucose readings are right there and it's uh, an event for the next five minutes. Now that I've used that app, it is located on the side of the screen as one of my most recently used apps. So I could even tap on that one and the event comes up. If you have other events, those will come up too. You can also see it on the home screen of CarPlay by swiping all the way home to the left and this is where you'll see like a map, you'll see the music you're playing or the podcast, and you'll have that iCal icon in the corner showing you your glucose levels. And if you wanna have it full screen, you just tap it and there you go, you can see your glucose levels. Now, if you wanna keep your eyes on the road, you can ask Siri what your calendar events are. That way you can just hear it. So this is what it will be like. Hey Siri, what's on the schedule today? 160 plus four, MGDL, is scheduled for 9.20 a.m. today. When you do it that way, Siri will tell you your glucose level and the difference from your last reading. In that case, it was plus four. You can also set up Siri through the Dexcom app to use a specific prompt to ask what your sugar levels are, and it will give you a little bit more of a detailed re uh, response. Here's what it sounds like. Hey Siri, what is my blood sugar? Okay, Ewing, you're 160 and steady. So in that case, Siri was reading my Dexcom readings directly from the Dexcom app, and I got that little added bit of information that my blood glucose is steady. Setting up a Siri phrase can be done with both Dexcom G6 and G7. On the Dexcom G7 app, go to the Profile tab and tap on Siri Shortcuts. You can edit the recommended phrase. I chose, what is my blood sugar, because it's more natural. Not only will Siri work in the car, but it works with all Apple devices, whether it's your phone, an Apple Watch, or even your computer Siri, and the HomePod Mini. Hey Siri, what is my blood sugar? Okay, viewing. You're 205 and steady? There you go. Thanks for watching today's video. Now it is your turn to go out on the road, set up your car, whether it's CarPlay or voice control with Siri, to have that added extra comfort of your glucose readings on the road. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to watch more videos like this or the podcast that comes out every Monday, both on here on, or on podcast platforms, be sure to subscribe to the channel and you can click that bell for alerts. That way you know when videos drop. Like I said, I've got more videos on Dexcom so you can watch those reviews, how to apply it, how to overlap sensors. I'll throw links to that in the description. And for more support of the channel and for added extra content, you can check out my Patreon, which is also in the description. I'm Justin, and I'll take you later.